Last night, Jesus called me on the phone. I was surprised. This morning, he called me again. And he said, why don't we do some boogie woogie? All right, this week, whoever can name that song and the band that played it wins a auto organizer. Uh, keep all your records and receipts in one place. It also has a gas mileage log for those of you still stuck in the Stone Age. And for those of you not, just cross out the word gas and put kilowatt hours. I don't care. Um, this week, first, Elon made a statement that said, eventually, Summon feature will allow you to summon your car cross country. So if you are in Los Angeles, you could summon your car to you all the way from New York. I'd like to see how the car is going to handle uh, paying for those toll tolls. <laughs> um, holy crud, my car is actually cold weather limited to 60 kilowatt acceleration. That's when you know it's freaking cold. It was negative seven degrees Fahrenheit last night. Not the coldest I've driven in. I'm roasting in here. Whew. Got the heat set at 90. Uh, funky heat version firmware 7.0. The heat works like crap. You're either freezing or you go up by one degree and then all of a sudden you're roasting your butt off. Or it decides not even to turn on at all. Uh, they really need to fix this heat problem. Of course, they had to release firmware 7 right before winter. Uh, so we all have the luxury of freezing our rear ends off. Uh, anyways, uh, Elon said he his goal is within two years for cross-country summon. Uh, next, uh, using the Remote S app, you can summon your car, or if not yet, quite yet, they're working on it. Uh, using a Apple watch um, and to pair with that I have a video up on how to get some nice very big discounts on an Apple watch if you're interested uh, that's a previous video it's been up for a day or two now actually it's been up since last night uh, I did get an Apple watch I didn't have to buy it though it is brand spanking new still in the shrink wrap um, I lucked out. Um, I, I have this little thing, I, you know, mental thing where I never pay full price for anything. I always, no, well, not always, I'll say 95% of the time I'll figure out a way to get a, a, gosh darn it's so bright out today. I figure out how to get a discount on something. Uh, and this time was no no different. Number one, I did manage to find some awesome discounts. Over $110 discounts for some of you on a, a brand spanking new Apple Watch, 42 millimeter, the large one. Or, I mean, same discount for the smaller one, which would just be $50 cheaper. Uh, for mine, um, I had some motorcycle parts that I've been relisting on Craigslist for the last year that nobody wanted to buy. Well, I was just about ready to take those to the scrapyard and get my whole $3.50 worth of scrap out of it. Uh, it was a mixture between aluminum and I had some stainless steel. And then I also had a really heavy Harley Davidson starter motor. Uh, I should have put that in the kids' power wheels. <laughs> uh, that thing would have went flying. Uh, but I moved it over to the barter section and lo and behold, you know, I figured, yeah, what the heck? A barter and I made my list of uh, my list of demands um, will barter motorcycle parts for Apple watch for uh, laptop computer um, for I don't know a whole bunch of different stuff I figure uh, there's stuff I know I can sell I'm good at selling I, I mean I was a motorcycle dealer which is you know one step below one of those evil evil uh, car dealers that uh, we so despise. Don't worry, I was uh, actually one of the very few honest dealers out there. Uh, so, anyways, someone emailed me, I've been looking for these parts for years, I can never find them. I'm like, really? I, you could have just bought them. You know, I'm thinking to myself, you could have just bought them for me. Hey, I'll give you an Apple Watch. I got one, someone gave it to me for Christmas. I don't want it, I'll never use it. Okay, 
so I got an Apple Watch in exchange for motorcycle parts I was going to scrap. It's fine with me. Cool. The uh, only problem is I'm not upgrading my phone from uh, iOS uh, 8.4 and all the new Apple Watches now have watchOS 2, which means you need iOS 9 or higher. So all the Apple packaging and Apple's own website uh, has false advertising information on it. Uh, that's a story for another time, but I did stop in an Apple, Apple store and uh, uh, gave me some free peripherals uh, or accessories because uh, I managed to find a uh, major error with the Apple's website. Go figure. Like I said, I'm good. I, I never pay, almost never pay full price for anything. Anyways, I'm getting off track because I pr promised you all to try and keep these uh, weekly update videos more shorter. Uh, next, cost contests. Uh, just to cover the previous contests, uh, the sausage winner was uh, Dustin Behe. Uh, the Jayco Superior Product High and Tire Gauge, which I still have to ship out, sorry. Uh, Lee Potter. And uh, the steering wheel cover went to Byron Isenbod. I'm sorry, I'm probably going to butcher that one. Uh, and uh, like I mentioned, if you can this week, uh, if you can figure out the first person to figure out the correct uh, name of that song and the band that played it, and uh, it was from a very most awesome cult classic movie from 1999. There's your hint. Um, Gets the uh, organizer, trip organizer, maintenance log, glove, you know, glove compartment binder for keeping track of everything for your vehicle, mileage log, you know, for tax write-offs, so on and so forth. Um, so that's this week's contest. Uh, due to some uh, Tesla Motors Club members hacking the Model S computer system, uh, we do have some information such as. Uh, uh, still still digging through, there's a lot of info, uh, waiting for some more confirmations, but the uh, cell voltages, it looks like the fully fully charged voltage that Tesla is fully charging the cells to is approximately 4.15 to 4.18 volts per second. I'm going to turn this. There we go. Much better. Uh, to 4.18 volts per cell which is a good thing. That means even when the car says 100% charge, Tesla is not charging the cars to 100%. Instead, they are actually charging the cars to approximately 93 to 95%, uh, which is good. That means if you are charging the car to 100%, even on a regular basis, you're really not doing any damage. Um, it's at 100% is where the degradation really starts to accelerate. Uh, so that, that's a really cool thing. That means you're our, that's why, probably why our battery packs are just lasting so long without real degradation. Uh, what people think is real degradation actually is only uh, just uh, the inconsistency of, uh, of the of the gasometer charging algorithm. Since there's no way to really know for certain what the 100% charge is, on a Model S or of a, of a battery, you can only measure how much power you put into the battery and then again how much power you took out of the battery. Uh, and that's how the cars get their, you know, get their, uh, uh, you know, how much range, you know, how much power, because it's within a very reasonable uh, margin of error. I mean, you're, you're usually within one or two percent off, and then of course, out of balance battery packs. But either way, that is some awesome information to know, and uh, very awesome in terms of longevity of our battery packs. I mean, even just, you, I mean, at, at about a 90 percent charge, or 93 to 95 percent, I mean, you're, you're talking years of extra life as compared to. Uh, uh, actual 100% charge, which is in generally rule of thumb, 100% on a lithium-ion battery is going to be at uh, uh, 4.2 volts per cell. And no, it's not linear. Dead is usually considered about uh, 3 to 3.2, somewhere between there. Uh, we don't know what Tesla considers to be uh, 0% uh, for our charge screens yet, um, so I'm waiting to see that information. Uh, let's see, next. 
fire in Norway was ruled not to be charging related. Uh, the, the fire in the Model S that was supercharging. Uh, they said it appears the fire started from within the cabin. Uh, whether somebody had something plugged into the uh, cigarette port, or the 12 volt auxiliary port, uh, you know, with a power inverter charging a laptop, or uh, you know, maybe you smoking left a cigarette that didn't go out. Who knows? Uh, but the fire was bad enough where they could not determine the exact cause or where it started precisely. All they did were able to determine was that it did not start due to supercharging or in the high voltage battery pack. That is very good news. Toasty! Uh, US, the United States of America is easing rules and regulations on self-parking, excuse me, self-driving vehicles. Uh, so um, they're doing that to accelerate the development of, uh, of autonomous and uh, uh, semi-autonomous cars. Uh, remember the Model S currently is a semi-autonomous. I uh, still have to have a warm body in the seat. Uh, whereas Elon hopes within two years uh, they will have full autonomous, which would be awesome. It's going to somewhat suck for us earlier adopters as usual, uh, but at least we have autopilot and hopefully, you know, across our fingers there'll be at least some sort of retrofit available to at least expand the, the semi-autonomous capabilities in the future. Um, I doubt there will ever be something to give us full autonomous, as full autonomy is just going to require too much, too many changes on the hardware of the Model S, ripping door panels off, there's going to be more cameras, but maybe at least make it so uh, we can safely summon our vehicle from, say, a supercharger to the door of a, of a mall or a business or something like that, if not available right now. I suppose it could be available right now with the sensors that are currently on the new auto autopilot cars, but um, there's always room for improvement. Uh, let's see. Uh, right now, uh, the Tesla fleet alone, just the Tesla fleet, under autopilot, is generating one over one million miles per day of autopilot driving in actual autopilot mode. And uh, remember, the fleet is like self-learning from all this driving as well, all the corrections, everything. So it's all getting incorporated into the into the autopilot system. Remember, these cars call home. So uh, that's one million miles per day. Just the 130,000 cars that Tesla has produced is generating. That's more than any other manufacturer on this planet combined in terms of what their fleets are learning. I mean, we're Tesla's light years ahead of everybody in terms of autonomous, or I should say semi-autonomous driving, autopilot driving, learning everything, every correction. And as talking to people who have had the actual autopilot since software update first released it, um, it's been, there's been some major improvements in functionality since day one. So, uh, and I'm not talking about Summit's feature, I'm talking about just normal autopilot features and functions. Which is awesome. Uh, Elon's, and now this is an Elon's Tesla time, uh, expects Model 3 to be hitting the roads uh, and being, you know, delivery starting end of 2017. So uh, from now would be two years, or one year, 11 months. Uh, of course, given Tesla time, although he is improving on his Tesla rubber band time a little bit, so it could be sooner, although they really need to beat the shitty volt. Uh, you gotta beat the shitty volt to market. Uh, excuse me, not shitty volt, shitty bolt, B-O-L-T. Uh, stop like, gotta check messages. Mike Anthony, Mike Anthony, Mike Anthony. <sighs> Mike Anthony, you're so needy, you just never stop text messaging me. Um, let's see, almost at the end of my list. Uh, if you haven't noticed already, per perpendicular parking at say a mall parking space is now also available 
along with the summons feature. So the Model S will now back into a parking space for you. Uh, it does take a little bit of time, uh, but uh, that's that's fine. I mean, it's still a uh, it's still a uh, you know somewhat of a beta feature. So we want the car to take its time. We don't want to hit anybody. We don't want any accidents. And let the cars learn and speed up as they learn better. But it's great for getting into some tighter spaces. And let's see, um, I put a video up on exercising your dual charger. If you don't use your dual charger on a regular basis, uh, making sure it's always functional so you don't you know, go to use it in an emergency one day and find, oh, it's not working, uh, which has happened to a few people. Um, I also, in that video, talk about uh, LiDAR and put a link to, uh, uh, to uh, a, a keynote address on uh, um, titled pretty much uh, what autopilot slash autonomous cars see. And I gave my opinions on some of the awesomeness of LiDAR and how it could be used for mapping our world. Uh, every object that, you know, and, I mean, it, there is limitations to LiDAR. Uh, see the video on that. But in general, the, the saturation of vehicles using LiDAR on the roads eventually will be enough where we can get some pretty high resolution, um, you know, combined mapping in three dimensions. Yes, it's night color. Yes, it's just pixels, you know. But if you could combine that with, say, uh, like what Google's doing with the uh, Street View, you can mold that around and make uh, some pretty awesome 3D modeling and, and I don't know, just watch the video. Uh, let's see. That pretty much covers it for this week. Um, I got some more updates on uh, my replacement car, and that is currently due mid-February. I also have a road trip to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina mid-February that I had won in a charity auction over a year ago. Uh, I'm hoping the car arrives before uh, before uh, that road trip as I really like autopilot and I really don't want to put any more insane miles on my car before uh, Tesla gets it back since uh, we are taking off a deduction per mile got a lot of them so uh, that's it see you all next week and I got some other good stuff coming as well and oh, final note, um, I got this little device from the company, um, this is called the Zeus, and uh, Z-U-S, and um, it's got 4.8 amps of uh, USB charging power of light, and it's got some really neat Bluetooth functionality, plugs into your cigarette lighter, uh, it's a car locator, I'll be testing it out on the Model S, and then I'll be handing it off to my mother to use, since the Model S already has an app and tracking um, I'll be testing it on my car since that's what I have to test it with for you all and then we'll get my my mother's opinion since her Lincoln does not have uh, connectivity like that uh, that's all coming up this week and uh, signing off